Hi, I'm JD, and what I'm going to be doing today is showing you some synthetic division that you're probably not really familiar with. So if you would, uh, pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right, if you're, most people have been taught only one way to do synthetic division. Well, synthetic division, <laughs> you can basically use it for any polynomial divided by another polynomial of a lesser degree. And it could be any lesser degree. It doesn't have to be a, a binomial with a degree of one and a leading coefficient of one. It doesn't have to be that way. So I put an example on here that you probably haven't seen before using the synthetic division. So it's gonna look somewhat familiar and somewhat different at the same time. First, list out the coefficients of your dividend, which is what you're dividing into. So that's four, seven, eight, 20. Now, this is probably what you're not familiar with. Now, whatever, you know, here is gonna be a negative four and then whatever's in front of here, bring that down and make it a reciprocal. So in other words, instead of two, flip it and make it one half. And the steps are gonna be relatively the same. Now, however number of terms are here, that's the number of terms that you're gonna have for your remainder. So bring down the four. Now this is where it's gonna get a little different. Take four and multiply it by one half. So four times one half is two. Now this is where it's gonna get similar. Do two times negative four, and that goes in the next column. So that's negative eight. Now add what seven plus negative eight, negative one, then do the same thing, times it by one half. So that'd be a negative one half. Do the same thing as you did before. Take this, multiply it to negative four. What's negative four times a negative one half? Yep, positive two. Then add eight plus two is 10. Multiply that by one half. Now, that and that, now you're gonna have a remainder. So take you know, this and multiply it to this. So five times a negative four is negative 20. So 20 minus 20 is zero. So your final answer would be this. 2x squared. Now what we're gonna do to find the degree is just subtract these. So this is three minus one, which would be two. Minus one half x plus five, and there is no remainder. If there was a remainder, you would just simply add and put it over a divisor. That's it. So two x squared minus one half x plus 5 would be your answer.